about its conception. Mm -hmm. I think I, I remember it was in 2019. That mm -hmm. is when I received the song. And uh, it was, a, this is one of the songs I've received in a very supernatural way. Oh, okay. Uh, because I think it was a disruption in my schedule. I remember it was a particular Friday in, in the month of November. Mm -hmm. So I was up, about, up and about my duties, you know, no more daily duties. Mm -hmm. Then I just fell in my heart, no, I need to have some moment in prayer. Mm -hmm. And it was a bit heavy. Mm -hmm. So I closed up myself in my room, mm -hmm. began praying, praying, praying. And then after a while mm -hmm. is when now I, you know, the, the vision, mm -hmm. the vision of, of the song came. The, the vision of the song came. And, uh, you know, I saw it was kind of a vision. The, the sick were healed, the, the lame were walking. Wow. And you remember like the days of Jesus, mm -hmm. like they say that God has given such power to man because there are things that Jesus did that no man could do. Mm -hmm. Nicodemus told him that no man can do the things you, you do except God be with him. So those things that really show that God is real. Mm -hmm. And then I had the tune uh, to Nakobudu. It just, you know, the chorus word for word. And uh, after receiving it, now the weight lifted. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's quite a supernatural way to receive a song. Yeah. Does it happen with all the songs? Uh, not really, mm -hmm. not really. I think, um, I, 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 well, in my case, it mm -hmm. has not happened for the all, all the all the songs I've received. Not all, all of them have come in such a supernatural uh, manner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And what does that do to you? You know, you've said uh, how you saw it, you know, people being healed from your v the vision that you saw. Mm -hmm. And how do you see your song um, impacting people now that it is out? Well, I think um, uh, 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 so far so good mm -hmm. uh, because um, the feedback has been quite tremendous and overwhelming. Mm. Uh, you know, just having a song that everyone listens to it the first time and it, uh, it's like, oh my goodness, yeah. there is uh. just depth, <laughs> <laughs> you uh. know, and uh, uh, such is a blessing uh, because this is the very inspiration of this ministry and why do you think that uh, you know there's a lot of music anyone can sing it really yeah. but why do you think that depth the content matters what you're singing about I think it, it, it really matters because think about it uh, like uh, the, the the number of people that listen to music mm -hmm. uh, I mean no one no one does not listen to music and uh, it can be such a, a very uh, you know an how do we call it? Maybe a, an efficient avenue where God can reach out to people mm -hmm. so that uh, the songs we, we sing have content and a such, a, such a depth that can draw a heart so that your music now becomes like an altar. Mm -hmm. You know, like w when you, you hold a crusade and you want to preach, not everyone stands there and listens to you. Yeah. But when you put music and a matatu, mm -hmm. you know, uh, are drawn uh, 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 you, you find everybody is drawn to it and when it is a music that can draw a, a person mm -hmm. then it, be, it changes the whole uh, equation mm -hmm. and uh, i think uh, that is why it's important to have some depth to what you do especially musically mm -hmm. uh, for me <laughs> you for know, you okay uh, just <laughs> not just singing because you know people are singing people because can sing. so yeah. now uh, still on the same matter do you think that someone needs to be saved you know because I, I like you, you know, you're already a <laughs> minister. Yeah, you know. yeah. I guess through some of the comments, people calling you pastor. So yeah. You're already a minister and uh, you're singing and you're singing with depth. So do you think that someone needs to be saved or to be, you know, know God to sing gospel music or can someone just feel inspired and sing gospel <laughs> music? <laughs> oh, wonderful question. So, um, you know, uh, like uh, I like to say, before before you can become a partner of the gospel mm. the gospel has ha ha has must have first affected you so you you be w the place of partnership you know like what we ad we do when we sing for you know gospel music mm -hmm. when we put the gospel in music uh, it is like we are partnering with the with with gospel with the gospel okay. so but 
uh, it doesn't add up to partner with something that has not really first affected you. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that mm -hmm. before you can begin doing the, you know, singing and here and about, because, you know, you're doing service to God. Mm -hmm. And before service, God wants our hearts. And that is where now it comes in the point of getting born again. Mm -hmm. Yes. So God wants your heart first. It must first impact you before yeah, you go before to impact others. To you go to impact others. Okay. Yes. So now, what do you make of the artists that come into the gospel industry and after a while they move to secular? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's a it's 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 a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a discussion that has been ongoing. Mm -hmm. But this is my take. You know, first of all, uh, you have to deal with your motivations uh, at first instance. You mm -hmm. define why are you doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, like uh, many people call it gospel music beca because they have had a name God in, the in, the in, the in somewhere, you know, in the lyrics. <laughs> they yeah. have had Jesus. They have had Mungu Naweza. Uh -huh. uh, but... Uh, you know, the, the gospel, the gospel is that which, you know, which preaches Jesus, you know, the, the Jesus is exemplified in what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And of, God, of course, God can use anyone. But uh, that point, you know, you begin and wha what was really your motivation? Why did you begin? You, you determine early in time. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I've not experienced certain glories that, you know, some of the people I look up, uh, up to have, uh, you know, have already experienced. Mm -hmm. But I like to say that sometimes when, you know, money and fame, sometimes you're not tempted with money and fame until you have it. You know, a poor man cannot <laughs> say, you know, uh, that, uh, you know, money is tempting me. I have overcome money. But once you have it, uh -huh. it's where now, you know, but th the, the temptations of how money, you know, can really demand from you. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with fame. And because all these things rotate ar around money and fame. So you have to determine early in time what is your motivation so that even when it comes, when it comes to a point you are tempted, you know, you already know what you live for and you stick on your line. Mm -hmm. So it's it, it just determine early in time. Uskuje kama kondo ambaye ameva ngozi ya ugomitu, ama ugomitu ameva ngozi ya kondo and then later you change. It, it just, you know, determine early in time and be you let us know that mm -hmm. Nelson and Akuanga hivi. Okay. Yes. All right. So we are taking you back to church kidogo too because today <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about gospel. So now, um, speaking of that, on, on that still same matter, yes, now yes. what do you make of people coming from uh, the secular world to the gospel world and then also now they ah, ni kama wewe ni kuna kitu amona uko probably money, you know, instead kuna there's better money for gospel. What do you think about that? Well, um, it is very easy to think that way, by the way. Mm -hmm. Uh, before you have been there, uh, you know, by the time m the music has begun paying you, I mean, it takes some time. And uh, so it's not like, you know, like I as easy as people usually, you know, make of it. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, uh, it's only God who knows the heart of a man. Mm -hmm. So we really do not know the motivation. But if somebody has publicly confessed, you know, that by there I've changed and I've decided to live for Jesus, we take that because that is what the Bible has told us to take of people. You know, we don't begin to uh, to examine is this very genuine or what? <laughs> I mean, with <laughs> time, the f yeah, the, the mm -hmm. we will now remain with observing the fruits because he says you shall know them by their fruits. So we might not really know the m you know what motivates you, but your fruits, the fruits of your life can that tell us sure. exactly. So mm -hmm. we'll give you time, but not uh, you know to kiss su suspicion. Mm -hmm. So you know. <laughs> Was it very genuine? <laughs> was it very genuine? No, 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 no. Uh, we will accept you because that is the, the, the Bible way of, you know, receiving Jesus and, con and conversion. So when you accept Jesus in that manner, we we'll take it that you are born again. Mm -hmm. You know, what follows, uh, we'll tell <laughs> whether tell. you are genuine the or not. The fruits will tell. Yes, okay. Yes. And now that you've said, Mr. King, yeah, it's important to have uh, your motivation, Kwanzaa. Uh, said, you know, mm -hmm. this is why I want it. But okay, m if m someone's motivation is right, they want to take Jesus to the world. They want to spread the gospel through their music. Mm -hmm. and But they also want the money aspect of it because if I'm going into it as a career, mm -hmm. I also want the money. Mm -hmm. So how, does they, how do they handle that? 
Oh, wonderful. Well, you can still pursue music as a career. Mm. You know, a career is something that gives you a livelihood. And it's like, uh, I like to give an example of some, maybe somebody who is born again, has grown in church, but when they went to pursue their maybe bachelor's or diploma, uh, cert, uh, you know, certificate, they did a music career. Mm -hmm. You know, you expect that the rest of their lives, they will be, they will, I mean, they will, like, I'm a geospecialist, so I did, you know, geospatial science. And uh, that is what gives me my livelihood. But there's somebody else who did uh, music, and this person is born again. So when he comes out, uh, out and he's, he's done graduation and, you know, he wants to settle for life, mm -hmm. the most, uh, you know, immediate thing he would do is to venture into music as a career where it pays him. Mm. So it is very okay for mu music to pay him, uh, you know, what he does to pay him. Uh, but of course, there is that place where now there is a place of ministry. And that is why it's important to maybe be committed to a local church mm. where you know uh, this is where I get. But beyond that, you can charge. Mm -hmm. You can charge. You are called for a show. You can charge. I mean, that's okay. It's okay. Yeah. All right. So now take us through your journey because we have <laughs> we jumped into the song. <laughs> <laughs> so now take us through your journey. When did you start music? Uh, how many songs have you released so far? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> my musical journey began in a very interesting way. I think, you know, backtracing and backtracking. Mm -hmm. um, uh, people who looked at me and saw me maybe in, in 10 years ago, when they see Miss Ahi, I mean, they see a different person all together. How so? <laughs> you know, because, you know, there are those people when they begin to sing, mm. like, you know, they can follow along. But m m my negative was too big. Ah, <laughs> to so you, you were really <laughs> bad. I was really bad. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> they say, everyone has their own negatives. There are those who have bigger negatives. Mine was a bigger <laughs> one. A massive, okay. <laughs> a massive one because mm. I could. Uh, I remember I began when I was in high school. Mm. Uh, that was around form two, and I couldn't sing. A uh, you know, a, a sentence. Kama si japumwe ni na pumu na sikia. Na una sikia ni meimba sijui kisingapi kwa iyo kwa iyo one line. Ah. And uh, I used to be a laughing stock. <laughs> I mean, kwa sababu na wewe na jidanga na nani aliambia uta na jua I remember there's this song by Christina Shi. Nataka ni mone yes. Mm. So I used to love that song very much when I was, I did me go and You know, when I was in high school. So I, I used to sing it in a very funny way. Mm. Uh, so when we are, we are back in class, mm. the whole afternoon on Sunday, I'll be the, you know, the, the talk of, you know, the <laughs> class. <I laughs> talk mean, of the class. Uh, the, because the, the, the students would not co uh, uh, concentrate on their studies. Mm. It was ab all so about they me. They uh, you know, making fun of how I was doing all the mess up on belly. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. There was something that was just working in me. I never gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, 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 this is it. <laughs> this is my this is me up and me too. And I thank God because of the friends I had who used to cheer me up. There's a friend of mine, he's called Bruce. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what he saw. Because he used to encourage me. He used to encourage me like I was the best thing in the world. <laughs> I used to do exercises here and there. When I got come back home, mm -hmm. I listened to Kina Tumaini, Kina Solomon Kubo. I tried to sing like they are singing. And it was quite impactful in my journey until now when I came to campus and I met some good friends who introduced me to other materials that have been in, uh, helpful mm -hmm. uh, to the point I am. And uh, we are still continually so growing. Yes, yes. Pole, pole. pole, pole. Also, one doesn't have to have the talent, inborn talent to sing. You can teach yourself to sing. Yeah, you can learn. You can learn. So long as mm. they normally say, so long as you can talk, you can sing. As long as you can. <laughs> oh, okay. So <laughs> there's hope for us. There's hope. <laughs> 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 All right. So when did you uh, decide to release your first song? Mm, that was back in, in 2020. Mm -hmm. Um... Um, yeah, that is when, you know, I felt in my spirit, I really need to go to the studio and do some recording. Mm -hmm. We did some friends and uh, the song is Pendo Kubo. Pendo Kubo is yeah. song. Yeah. I, I like how you've said, I felt in my spirit. Mm. How do you feel in your spirit? <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, this time, you know, maybe it's, it's new to someone else. So yeah. how do you mean when you say? 
you know, uh, these things are not very complicated. Like someone will want to, you know, bring them out. You know, you must receive a visitation in the night. Uh-huh. The sound from heaven. <laughs> soul, soul. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you know, no, no, no. Uh, okay, God can still appear to you in that fashion. Mm. But uh, m- rarely will he do such. So th- you just feel, I. And that is the, f- the spirit of God is, you know, is luring you to something. And sometimes you want to do a business and you, no, this is not my time yet. Mm-hmm. And then there's just that time you, you know, you won't, you know, have you ever just been. There's the a push in you. There's a push in you. Uh-huh. I, I, I remember when I, before I began working, th- that month I, I was telling people, by the, before the end of this month, I'll be, I'll, I'll have started working because I, w- I knew it. It's annoying beyond I, I, knowing. It's annoying beyond knowing. <laughs> you just know. Uh-huh. So it's the same thing that happens, and apparently it happens mm. in every area of our lives. So you just feel that there is something, mm. uh, there is this direction you need to take. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now your second song you released after Pendo. What's yes. the name of the second song? The second song is Sita Ogopa. Mm-hmm. Sita Ogopa. Um, what uh, inspired it? Yeah. I, I, pardon? What inspired Sita Ogopa? Oh, Sita Ogopa. Mm. So Sita Ogopa, I think I was I was just uh, doing random meditation, mm-hmm. and uh, it was so real in my heart that by the God is for us, mm-hmm. and that is enough reason why not to fear. So it doesn't matter what comes against us. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter what you're going through. Mm-hmm. Like he said, you know, to the children of Israel, you might go be going through the fire, but it will not burn you. So I, I the fire is not too hot to consume you. So mm-hmm. with that assurance, it and then the the the, the tune came, uh, Sita Ogopa, and then the lines, and that was it. I felt it has blessed me. It could bless somebody else. Oh wow, yes. amazing! Just how you said it has to have an effect on you first yes. before it, uh, it affects <laughs> others. Is there a time where maybe your song you were going through something? Because some people think that wherever you share uko sawa watu ukwa kwa gospel industry any we ndo naimba so uko sawa upikengi but is there a time where you are going through something hard and your song ministered to you any of your songs mm. <laughs> yeah of course you know challenges everybody faces challenges mm-hmm. and uh, it's not strange to face a challenge mm-hmm. and um yeah, I, I remember last year something significant happened mm-hmm. in my life. And I think during that moment, Pendokubo was a very huge blessing to my heart. But, well, you know, there are those who, who receive inspiration out of the situations they go through. Mm-hmm. I have not received a, a song yet out of what I've maybe the bad, maybe the tough situation I've, I've been through. Mm-hmm. But there are tough situations I've been through yeah, that true. the songs I've released have been a blessing to me. Wow. So, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we wa- I want you to sing for us Pendo Kubwa. Mm. Just, uh, you know, <laughs> the chorus or something. Just something small. So, Na mi ni na uzima Ni na furaha Ni merembeshwa Na utukufu wake Ni na angaza Wote. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. You have such amazing songs. That bl- I'm sure they're a blessing. What is that one comment that you received, uh, f- a feedback from the audience that really blessed you, that really, l- as in, ukajua, any, this, o- this one, <laughs> it was God. Any, <laughs> you <laughs> for the people. Yeah, I, I remember, uh, you know, when we were doing the release of Tunakuwa Budu, mm-hmm. And um, so there's a lady who commented on on the on the on the YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. You know, when you see a true worshiper, you can just know. I mean, that got me thinking. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that got me thinking. No, it's not light that there are certain things. Certain uh, God can cause certain people to see about you, mm. and it means there is something on your life. Mm-hmm. And you know, there uh, there was also a certain pastor who shared, and you know such songs of the presence. I mean, a pastor. Uh-huh. And you know, he's uh-huh. a pastor I really honor. Uh-huh. And having shared the song, I think for me, it was very humbling. Mm-hmm. So it, it inspired me even the more. 
Okay, so <laughs> that's encouragement to push you forward. Yeah. So tell us uh, where we can find you on our social media handles before you sing for us the last song because we want you to perform for us mm -hmm. uh, the, the second release song, Fita Ogopa. Okay. So tell the people where to find you. This is your camera. And if you feel like you want to send some shout outs, feel free. <laughs> Thank you. So um, I am on YouTube, Nelson Were, and uh, I'm also on Facebook. Uh, Where Nelson, I have a Facebook page, uh, same Where Nelson. I also have a Twitter handle at Nelson Were at seven. Um, so I would like to send uh, some shout out. To I know there are some friends who are watching. Uh, first of all, I would like to to shout out to my spiritual dad, uh, Pastor Dan Kanatika. I know he's watching. Uh, I'd also like to send out a shout out to my parents and my family and also to my producer Fidel and to my friends. I cannot mention all of you. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Wow, <laughs> amazing. Mm -hmm. Take it away, Fita Gopa. Ah, okay. Ah, go ahead. Chikwa, wana 